I have been coming to Haiti as a volunteer for 24 years. So the first 15 of those years, I worked in a village clinic doing medical care for children who were sick. And the children were sick because they were malnourished, mostly. In the year 2001, when I visited Mark Maneri in Malawi and he was just experimenting with this, I realized that it was the solution. In 2003, we got a little hand grinder and we started making this recipe. We tried to put pedals on it, that didn't work. And then we put a motor on it and that did work. And then we put a bigger hopper and we got bigger and bigger and bigger. In 2010, we became partners with Nutriset, part of the Pumpy Field Network. Welcome to our world-class factory here in Capetian, Haiti. Yeah. It's peanuts, powdered milk, sugar, oil, vitamins and minerals all mixed together. Medica Mamba is designed to be the most concentrated form of excellent nutrition. And this year we're on target to make about 550,000 kilos. Enough to treat 55,000 malnourished kids. MFK has a tremendous network of partners, both here in Haiti and in the United States, and globally. The people at Anita's Children, they have an orphanage, they have a school, and they also have this clinic where they rehabilitate children. The people and we? They out reached out to us for Medica Mamba. So this is Alex's chart. These were the charts that were used for him each week in his process of recovery. He was seven. He weighed 29 pounds. He was skin and bones. His hair was white. His skin was white. It's amazing that he's smiling, huh? Knowing the reality of what we're dealing with, nobody expected that he would survive. He stayed with us everywhere because we were literally afraid at any moment he was going to just not make it. He started eating Medicamamba and he was touch and go for um, a couple weeks. Within a month his skin was now darker, he had a little black roots. And within two months his hair was completely black, his skin was completely black, and he was walking but wobbling. And then within three months, he was running. And now he's the star of the soccer team. You just see kids over and over and over again who look like they're at death's doorstep and you do this tiny little intervention and they get better, 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 gradually, gradually, gradually. We've been reading about Medical Mamba on the internet. We wanted to figure out how to do it. We wanted to figure out how to implement it in our program. Right away, we knew that it was something that we wanted to continue to use and that was very helpful with the kids. So both of them left their houses yesterday morning really early. She's nervous. She might stay, she might go, but she won't talk to you. Bonjour. Et qui j'en pite la relle? Ok. Ça est petit tout? Ok. Qui ça ouais de gain? Après ça est petit. Et est-ce que vous gagnez notre timon? She went to an outpatient medical mamba clinic yesterday. Uh, the person that was running that, they called us and asked if we could look at him to see if we could do inpatient because of how sick he was. 
She's going to have to make a difficult decision today on whether she wants to leave him or take him back home. And she knows when she leaves here, there's a possibility that she will never see her child again if it doesn't make it. She has come from the other side of Port-au-Prince to a place that she doesn't know, and she's that desperate searching for help for her child. Families are making serious and difficult choices all the time here. Too many mouths to feed, not enough food. Should you work in the field? Should you take your sick child to the doctor? Should you go to the malnutrition clinic? What should you do? Parents are the same everywhere. Parents want their children to have a life, first of all, and second of all, they would like their child to have a better life. And in rich countries, it takes different forms. You know, it's about schools, it's about tutors, it's about soccer, it's, it's about lots of things that are not life and death. But here, it's related much more to, to life and death. <laughs> Allez, <coughs> Ça, c'est couvert là. Mm -hmm. Ça, c'est couvert là, nous allons le mettre pour couvrir le mort. Moi, les gens, les Joseph, nous avons fait un séquel, je dis. Gain, c'est 6. Gain, c'est 8. Il est difficile pour moi. Je dois jouer nous. On pigot travaille. Most kids go to bed at night, maybe only having had one meal that day. They get up, they make the walk to school, and don't have anything in their tummies. <laughs> So in the last year, we have completed a grant with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to develop and to test a school snack. Um, it's peanut butter based, like all the rest of our products, uh, but it's specially designed for school children in Haiti. Madame Julie, she's the principal of that school, Jean-Marie Vincent. Madame Julie appreciates that project at that school and the kids as well. We're seeing a decrease in anemia, an increase in attendance. Parents are reporting that the kids come home happier and more lively. So all around, it's been a tremendous success. You know, a lot of the children in our malnutrition programs are farmers' children. So that tells you a lot. You know, there's a lot of small farmers who really can just barely keep their kids alive. We're really getting ambitious about buying uh, greater quantities of local peanuts, so we've set some really high goals for ourselves. We have a farmer school now. The farmers are very happy. They said they are going to seed more, to grow more peanuts in the future because of MFK. I'm going to go to St. Enoxil. I'm going to go to work, plant pistaches, plant plusieurs types of products. Nous mariés, maladie qu'il gagne après trois mois de mariage, et puis il y a une maladie qui déclare le débordement sang, et puis ça produit tout le temps, tout le temps, et puis jusqu'à ce que vous ayez la tête la santé. Et c'est à travers le travail que nous faisons pour nous joindre l'argent, pour nous occuper le charge de l'hôpital. Si petit moins vous formé, dans l'éducation, vous capable de faire un autre bagaille qui est plus mieux préparé du temps comme moi. C'est bien. The more that 
this can be way out into the community and we can think about ways of spending this money that actually ends up in the pockets of local people, the better off the whole country is going to be. Our big overall goal is that we employ people in Haiti, we transfer knowledge, we train people, and that ultimately we don't need to be here anymore. Non, mon père c'est Pierre Louis Jean Alex. Ma travail pour MFK en place assistant production et officier chef nuit superviseur. Mon parti que moi il y a et moi vinn ça que moi vinn plus remeli toujours moi remeli c'est parce que moi c'est un jeune garçon moi vinn ouais que et moi vinn gagne en capacité m'a diriger ça vinn faire bon plaisir en pile. Ni changer vie m'appelle. Ni maman ni papa m'ont été venus mourir. Papa m'a moins été perdu au début tout petit, m'a été levé dans vain. Non mais grand moi c'est les mêmes petits qu'on a avec à aider nous. Et du moment que nous venons jeune travail là, les amis venus capable, les venus pas capable de travailler encore. Ça c'est à cause des MFF qu'on y a qui fait mon cas responsable. Ni pour peut-être pas mais puis il faut le sentir. Non, il parle de l'histoire de la jeunesse dans le pays, dans le pays en Haïti, qui n'a pas de monde qui peut aider. Nous n'avons pas de monde qui peut défendre les nouvelles revendications. Je ne peux pas vous parler. Pour moi, je suis un citoyen en Haïti, nous avons toujours pensé que c'est un seul monde qui a changé le pays, un seul monde qui a un président. Pour nous, ce n'est pas ça, c'est nous tous qui pouvons collaborer. Comme un proverbe qui dit tant de vie, tant de soi. This is an opportunity for North Americans, Europeans, who just won the lottery. They won the cosmic lottery automatically. Running water, sewer, public education, a functioning government, it's all there. People in Haiti did not win the lottery. It's not fair that some people cannot keep their children alive. And their children are our children. <laughs>